Hello everyone, Evie Marie here with 3D Web Worlds, and today we're going to talk about one of our newest tools that will help you build your region. We call it our free shopping tool, which basically means that you can pick up anything on any region that has a proper common license. If it is a private object, you won't be able to uh, take a copy, but anything with a common license you can. So that makes it easy if you're walking around and you decide that, that you like uh, a certain fireplace or a certain chair. If it has a common license, you can pick it up and then take it back to your own region. In this particular region, we've set out a number of our mesh buildings. And most of these buildings were designed to be part of our art gallery system, but they work with any purpose. And each of the buildings has the number in the common library, which in this case is mesh uh, 159. It's also known as building B12. So we're going to show you how to take this building into your inventory. Um, I'm using a user that does not have building rights here. So when I click this button, the edit tools button down here with the hammer and the screwdriver, you'll see I get this message that I do not have building rights. Uh, but a little further down, I see a, the free shopping tool. So when I click the free shopping tool, I will see everything that is available in this region that has a common license. And in this case, we're looking for B12. So if I scroll down, I will see that I have building B12 right here. I take a copy and there it is in my personal inventory. Now, because we are not on a region where we have building rights, we do not see all of the buttons that we would see here. Um, so we can't add it or edit it or anything like that. We can delete it if we accidentally pick up something that we don't want. Um, but in order to see those buttons, we would actually have to go back to a region where we have those rights, and we will do that in just a moment. So as you can see, you could go around and pick up any building that caught your fancy. So if we wanted building B1, we would go back to our main menu, back to the free shopping, and then we would look down this list for building B1. There it is. Take a copy. And there it is in my inventory. Now to show you the power of this, we're going to go to, um, let's go to our newest, we are in our newest room rental. It's a meeting space set in a uh, winter area. And if we stroll inside, now this is a uh, mesh building with different items inside. So let's say that we uh, maybe even see a panel of glass and we like the way that glass looks or a window. We can click our edit tools button and you can see that we do not have building rights in this region. Click the free shopping and we're going to scroll down and look for the windows that we like. We'll take a copy of that one. And there it is. And a copy of that one, which are these windows over here. All right, so now to show you the power of this, let's go now to a region where we have building rights. Here we are in the building sandbox. And uh, we're gonna come out here in the ocean just to have a little more space. All right, so first what we're going to do is mark our location. This uh, rebake avatar button has several different functions. First, it can rebake our appearance if for some reason we land and our identity does not follow us. We can click that to rebake and, and claim our customization of our avatar. And we can also use it to mark our location before we drop an object on our region. So I've marked this location and I'm going to toggle the edit button. And now you can see that I have the edit tools. So I'll click this button and up here you find the button for my inventory. And here are all the items that I have picked up on my journey. So let's first drop a building. We'll drop this one. 
and uh, you can see here that it has dropped, but I don't see it anywhere. It's because we are a virtual world in a browser, and we have to ask the browser to load that. So we come down here and we reload the world anytime we drop something so that the browser has a chance to reveal it to us. All right, so there is the building. And if we wanted to drop that panel of glass, we would mark our location, add the glass, again, reload the world. And here is that panel of glass. And if you want to learn how to manipulate items, so rescale them, move them around, uh, you can check out one of our tutorials that covers that topic. This is Evie Marie with 3D Web Worlds, and we'll see you again soon.